have Debbie here and she's going to tell us what inspires her. I was so excited by her answer. So you want to talk about that? My little grandchildren inspire me. Mm -hmm. And I love letting them come into my art studio and play with the real art supplies. Mm. All my acrylics and all my watercolor crayons and all the cool stuff in there. And they now know how to mix their colors to make flesh tones for their girl faces and they know how to shade and Aww. yeah it's really fun and they're actually I started both of them on their very own art journal so oh. yeah it's really cool and so I have them sign their name on the back of every piece they do and put the date on and they have a wonderful um, book of when they started when they were two years old all the way up one of them is almost seven now and one of them is almost four so it's going to be a treasure hopefully for them when they <clears throat> get older wow that's so yeah. cool and um i wanted to see if you oh first of all i want to ask how old are they one of them is three almost yeah. four the and other is seven or six almost seven and then i have a two-year-old that i just I, right now i'm working with rubber stamping for her and so oh. that's kind of how they both all three of them have started out using my rubber stamps and my rubber stamp pads and then they learn to color the in. and now i'm actually i'm teaching the six-year-old how to do zentangle <laughs> I don't know what and that is. It's where you take um, a black pen mm -hmm. and you do intricate little patterns mm -hmm. because at this age she's in first grade and you know a lot of what they are learning with math mm -hmm. is all about patterns mm -hmm. and so she's doing like four little you know lines and then a dot, four little lines and then a dot and then she colors them in and the funny thing is is she's so intricate it takes her forever to do her you know four little lines and then the dot and so then we have to take an ice cream break and then you know go back into it and finish it. I love it! That's it's so fun. great! That's fun. great they inspire you. They inspire me and it makes me want to learn more and more because as I learn, mm -hmm. I'm teaching them. Right. So they're kind of learning along with me. And oh. then the things that they come up with, it's like, yeah. oh my gosh, things yes. that I would not have even thought of that kind of gets me thinking in a different direction. Yeah. And I have to be really careful that I don't try to put my ideas too much into their heads. And yes. So I get them started and then like my um, little, you know, six-year-old, she'll go, oh, but Grandma, what about this? How about if I, because it's supposed to be black and white, black and white, because that's how I saw it. Mm -hmm. I want to make it pink and black and pink and black. Okay, you can oh. do that. And it looks great. It's yeah. not what I would have done, but you yeah. know, for her, she's yeah. very pleased with it. She's a pink kind of girl, so oh. I just have to kind of go with it. And, yeah, it's That's fun. great. It's oh, fun. thanks for sharing that. I really appreciate it. Would you, um, I was inspired by your notebook. Would you mind oh. sharing this gorgeous notebook with us? Because... This is, it basically just has all my colors mm -hmm. of paints that I own. Mm -hmm. And as I get low on something, I will make a little list every time I come to the store. Okay. So that I know what I'm, you know, getting low on. Wow. And it also has, let's see, over here, somewhere, mm -hmm. I have all my tabs. Um, I have my watercolor crayons and pencils oh, and all my nice. sprays. And everything's labeled so that when I, um, you know, I'm looking for color, mm -hmm. I can just, and this, I use this with my granddaughters all the close. time. So that when I, I give them a choice, I tell them they only can use three colors. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is they're doing, they only can use three colors because mm -hmm. they would use everything. Mm -hmm. And so they'll go through the book and they will point to whatever three colors they want to use. And then eventually I'll teach them a little bit about color theory, but right now, is kind of trying to just limit them so that it doesn't look, you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like a rainbow, like, you know, most yeah. little kids want to do. Yeah. But yeah, so it has just a little bit of everything that I own, all my little art supplies, and I'm a collector. Oh. Most of them from here. Uh-huh. So, oops. Well, those, are those are sweet drawings. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's well, such a nice book. A, a little art journal of mm -hmm. things, but then I decided to turn it into a color book. Or That's book color. great. Oh, and then I did some like, little combinations of colors that mm -hmm. I like, mm -hmm. so that when I'm looking, and sometimes I'll show this to my granddaughters and mm -hmm. let them choose a color combo that they like. Oh, then, like a palette, you like mean? Palette, so you're not yeah. mixing the colors, you're just putting colors yes. together into yes. palettes. Exactly. Nice. And that way it makes their art really not only attractive to them mm -hmm. but to 
other people that look at it too and they look wow. and go, oh, that's really pretty because the colors look good together. Yeah. So, and they don't understand why they look good together mm -hmm. yet. But mm -hmm. eventually, you know, as they get older, they'll, they'll learn how to do that too. So Fantastic. Anyway, I'm addicted. <gasps> Thank it's you. Fun. Thank you for sharing that. Yay. Okay.